Joseph. Uh -huh. uh, you can call me Joe. Uh, I work with the uh, IT company. It's a startup. Okay. And we deal with uh, natural language processing. So wow. that's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. It really deals a lot with uh, foreign languages mm -hmm. and how smooth we can create uh, machine learning. Yeah. What do you think is the biggest difference between your old company place mm -hmm. and this new place that you're working at? I think one of the biggest differences is how many people know how to speak English. Oh. Yes. That's, I think about 70% of us are really fluent in English. Wow. Yes. So, That's good. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, back in my old company, um, yeah. I really couldn't speak in English. Mm -hmm. But time to time in this new office, yeah. Yeah, we get to speak very fluently in English. So yeah. that's really good. You know, I don't, I don't lose my English skills. Um, can you briefly tell the audience how you and I know each other? Oh, so we go way back, Kate. Way, way back. Way, way back. Um, <laughs> we go, we've been buddies for, what would that be, 16 years now? That, we're old, man. No, we're not, no. Okay, no, we're not. We're, we're not old. I'm sorry, we're not, we're not <laughs> old. Okay. It says here, so I, I gave Joe a few questions ahead of time, but I think we'll switch it up a little bit. Be comfortable. Okay. I'm as comfortable as anyone can be. Oh, in front of the awesome. Okay. Uh, can you please um, tell me your favorite saying or quote or something that you live by? I, I put this in my Kakao Talk profile. It says, um, success is small, success is big. And nowadays, when everyone else is trying to get that one shot of a lifetime, yeah. you know. You win big for just one chance. Mm -hmm. um, I like to start with something small. Okay. Um, if you have a success in something small, mm -hmm. you have a chance to do something bigger the next time. Right. And it's incremental. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not one shot in your lifetime. Right. I just want to go back to your childhood a little bit, like. Because you and I both had yes. pretty different childhoods compared to, you know, regular Koreans. True. Yeah, True. so, you know, can you tell us just a little bit about what you remember about your childhood and, like, what makes your childhood kind of unique? So my childhood mm -hmm. was pretty unique. I went to Philippines when I was age seven. Mm -hmm. And it put me in a different perspective. Yeah. Because all of a sudden, I'm in this new country, in this new environment, Food is different, culture is different, everything is different. So, at early age, I think I started to um, to notice things right away that there are people who are different than I am. At a young age, I guess you start to adapt right away mm -hmm. to your environment. Yeah. It, which wasn't bad. Which wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were tough times, of course, with the language, but you you get to um, get to adapt pretty quickly mm -hmm. and you really get to like it as well and and as it as the time went by you get comfortable with your surroundings yeah but then you also have this lingering mm -hmm. lingering kind of I guess feeling like where do you belong kind of thing like an identity yes kind of yes confusion yes if you have your own kids would you want them to experience what you did what you went through or what do you think? Yeah, I think so. You would? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. um, just the fact that growing up, there is no... It's it, it, just, just because it's different, it's not wrong. Mm -hmm. I like to have that learned from the kids at an early age. So, from the Philippines, you transitioned into going to the States. Yeah. So, how was that like transition and, you know, how did you adapt to that new environment 
well, adapting was, I guess, it wasn't hard because okay. I was I was used to adapting. Oh, that's true. So yeah. adapting to states wasn't hard, mm -hmm. but there were also culture shocks, you know. Okay. Um, as you know, U.S. is just not one big culture. There's a yeah. lot of different cultures living mm -hmm. in the states, and so I was in a place where, you know, I, I was not really grown grown accustomed to it. Yeah. So I had to get adapted to that, but all in all, it wasn't it wasn't that hard. So you mentioned that adapting is not that hard for you, but like, just for those people who, for those of us who do have a hard time, do you have like some tips on how we can adapt to new environments or like adapting to a new job or? Well, I guess having a, a, a Christian religion uh -huh. as a center for me mm -hmm. well, was a big thing. Okay. Um, I'm not saying every religion should be like yeah. your very core, but mm -hmm. Um, I try not to lose my identity, mm -hmm. my core identity of who I am. Yeah. As a base, that's who I am. But um, as an outward appearance, I really would like to absorb a lot of things. Okay. Um, I I don't shy away from experiences, that's from good. new yeah, yeah, from trying new things, mm -hmm. um, trying meeting new friends, yeah. um, striking up a conversation. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the biggest. Fear is the failure of not wanting to achieve what you wanted to achieve. Uh, so you can like differentiate what's good for you and what's not. Mm -hmm. Right. Because that's yeah, because uh, I believe who I am mm -hmm. in the core. Yeah. And if that makes me grow as a person, then I absorb it. If not, it just bounces right back. I see. So after the states, you came back to Korea. Yes. And did you start working right away, or how was it? Well, I. I went to military for two years, oh, right? Yeah. So that was a mandatory. Because I didn't give up my uh, my pre citizenship. citizenship. Exactly. Because deep down, I guess I knew who I was. Yeah. I get, I, that's that's the, one of the things that, you know, that is an example of who I really am. Mm -hmm. I'm a Korean to the heart. So I did my military years for two years. Big culture shock there, right yeah. there. Um, it was just two years of Korean culture crammed into wow. one big huge experience started learning how to type Korean in the That's military great. yeah it's useful isn't it it's very useful yeah. now very useful I used to be mm -hmm. I started teaching at Hagwon as well okay that went for about a year and a half mm -hmm. um, it really just got me comfortable to working with the Korean environment yeah. and dealing with different situations with people because mm -hmm. that's probably the biggest thing right. the working environment is different but I had to get adapted to that yeah it really just made me realize that okay just because the environment is different yeah doesn't mean that i can't get my work done or mm -hmm. that i don't have anything else to learn right. so i learned a lot okay. i had my small successes there as well very important yeah okay what was that you know moment i wanted to go to a company that had a bigger vision um, like bigger futuristic vision futuristic yeah so one of the things that that popped into my mind was working with AI. I mean, it was a totally different field, of course, and so I really knew nothing about AI, but I knew people, I knew environment, I knew how to work uh, with uh, growing companies. Yes. So, so, yeah, that's, that's one of the biggest things that I really wanted to change in my life. I think working with languages, with AI, it just tries to connect with different cultures. Yeah. Um, break down that language barrier so with AI and so I was like oh this is nice and I really got sucked into it yeah do it you really... think sorry for interrupting you but no, like sorry. so you work with AI and language and translation and these kinds of stuff mm -hmm. I feel like that's gonna get rid of English teaching jobs it's, it's definitely it? not true are you sure it's, no no <laughs> okay because like a few of the English teachers were talking about this one time. Oh. I want to ask you about that. Like, oh, okay. You know, should we feel worried? No, no. Language is very much human. And there is a lot of culture. Yeah. There's a lot of, um, how should I say this? Um, like very personal human relationship to the language oh. that AI does not have. Okay. AI can only adapt to a certain point that will make life easier, yes. but never replace 
translators or um, multi-language speaking people. Okay. Yeah, it's it's never that AI AI will just help you with the technical stuff of it. Right. Like if if I'm making a mistake, it just mm -hmm. wants to correct me. Okay. So yeah, it's just there as a supportive role. Never, never, never a replacement. Yeah, never really as a replacement. But you know, I guess maybe in the two thousand years, maybe it will change. We'll have some C three POs talking to us. So. Yeah. But rest assured, not yet. Yeah, and uh, you know, when, when that time comes, I'm sure there will be new jobs yes. for us. Yes. Hopefully, right? But there's that creativity part in human. Yeah. There's that uh, emotional part yeah. that AI cannot learn. Yeah. So. So, I'm pretty confident. Okay. Can you tell me one or two things that you're looking forward to? Personally, I'd like to travel more, like for myself. Yeah. That's good. I hope um, I get to communicate better. Mm -hmm. Communication and working together is, I guess, one of the hardest things. Yeah. It still, it still is a challenge. So, you know, trying to understand what the other person is saying or trying to relay your thoughts. Yeah. Um, communication, effective communication. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any last words, some encouraging words you would like to tell us to finish off? To finish off, yeah. um, language is about confidence, I think. Oh. If we're just afraid of making mistakes, yeah. um, then that's, you know, that's where we'll ever be and we're never gonna uh, grow. We can't move forward. Exactly. Um, and you have to be also understanding of people who make mistakes. So, if you have that understanding, I think, together as a community, together as, a, as an individual, yeah. we, can, we can really go grow. So, confidence. Confidence. Um, that's, that's the key. Alright. Thanks for being here today. Thank you very much for having me. Join us again. Sure, today. sure.